In this video, we're going to walk through the steps a user can take to add a device to Azure AD and enroll it in Intune. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Feraldos. In a previous video, we went through the steps of enrolling hybrid Azure AD join devices into Intune. That was an administrator controlled task. The configuration took place with GPOs. In this video, we're reviewing a couple options for a user to join a Windows client to Azure AD and enroll the device into Intune. Before that, please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new content. That helps others discover this channel. Check out my courses on Windows 365, Azure Virtual Desktop, and Hybrid Identities with Windows AD and Azure AD. The links are below. And thank you, channel members. Your support is appreciated. Back to it, we're going to walk through two options a user can take to Azure AD join a Windows client and enroll it into Intune. This is a manual process that relies on the end users to take action. I guess what I'm saying is this video will not cover Windows Autopilot. That's a topic for another day. There are two ways a user can enroll a device. The first is for company-owned devices that takes place during the out-of-box experience, or OOBE. That's the screen we all see on a fresh install of Windows when we first log in. The other way assumes the user has already signed into the Windows client with a local account. This could be a personal or bring your own device. We're going over the steps to enroll that device for Intune management and join it to Azure AD. With personal or BYOD devices that the user's already logged into, they have two options. They can connect by entering an email address or choose to join the device to Azure AD. The email option does not Azure AD join the device. If that option is used, the user is managed but not the device. Because we're talking about device management, we don't want the email option. Instead, we're going to choose the option to join the device to Azure AD. This will manage the device and the user. The user should know that their device will be managed by the organization before they perform these steps. To follow along, make sure that Intune is enabled in the tenant. If using groups for device management, the user should be in that group. Also, the user has to be licensed for Intune. These topics are covered in a previous video. Check out my playlist for more information. And Windows Home version is not supported for Azure AD Join only pro or enterprise. Let's jump into the portal to get started. Here we are in the Intune portal. We covered enabling Intune in the tenant in a previous video. I'm just gonna review the settings in case you missed it. We'll go to devices, enroll devices, automatic enrollment. In this example, MDM is configured and the scope is sum or based on a group. If you also selected some, be sure the user that joins devices to the domain has an Intune license and is a member of the group. We can view the group by clicking on one group selected and it shows the group. Next, we'll see how a user can enroll a device into Intune with new hardware and the out of box experience. Here we are at a new Windows 10 OS install on a laptop. Some of the Windows and UI information may be a little dated. This is an older version of Windows 10. The principles still apply. We'll keep going through the setup. Here's the part that counts. We have the option to set up the device for personal use or set it up for an organization. We'll select set up for an organization. We'll sign in with a user account. This account has to have an Intune license applied. And if using group membership for MDM, it has to be a member of that group. We'll sign in with a test account. We can accept the privacy settings and we'll finish signing in. I'll cut out some of the waiting time. If the user has MFA enabled, they will get a prompt. Next, we'll create a pin. And now we're signed in. We can verify that we're joined to the Azure AD domain by going to Settings, Accounts. It shows the user account. Let's go to Access Worker School, and here it shows we're connected to the Azure AD domain. 
We can also select more information for more details. Let's move on to see the steps. If the user has an existing device, they logged into with a local account. Here we have a personal device that the user has already signed into with a local account. To enroll it into Intune and Azure AD Join, we'll go to Settings, Accounts, Access Worker School, and Connect. The first option is to enter an email address. This will Azure AD register the device, not Azure AD Join. We won't be able to manage the device, just the user. This may be a good option when we don't own the device, but want to have control over the user and the applications they access. But that's not what we're trying to accomplish in this video. Instead, go to Join This Device to Azure Active Directory. We'll follow the steps to join the device to Azure AD. A confirmation prompts for the user. Click join. We'll give it a minute to finish. And that's done. Now our device is Azure AD joined. We can click done. Now we can switch accounts and log in with our Azure AD account. Next, let's go back to Intune and view our enrolled devices. Here we are in Intune. Let's go to Devices and Windows Devices. And there are the two devices we just added. The laptop we enrolled through the out-of-box experience and the client we joined to Azure AD. That is how users can Azure AD join a device and enroll it into Intune. That's it. I hope this helps you better understand steps users can take to enroll devices into Intune. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.